By the time we find Eric at the start of the film, he's basically reached the end of the line. He's trying to get something back that's been taken by three guys. He realises when he meets Ray that he's connected to those three guys. Where's your brother? Where is he? So he kidnaps him, I guess. We actually see that Eric starts to feel something towards Ray. I've got a kid in the car who needs help. So it becomes a sort of an awakening of, of all sorts of emotional elements for both of them, I think. Is this man your friend? Working with Guy and Rob was a privilege. He's a strong through line for everyone to kind of grip onto. You don't learn to fight, your death's gonna come real soon. Eric's really out on a limb throughout the entire story. And Ray, I think, misinterprets Eric's passionate kind of violence as affection for him. Most of the preparation for me was in discussing the emotional states with David and understanding that, and actually trying to find what this person has turned into. Almost what kind of creature has he regressed toward? Go and get your rifle. I love working with Guy Pearce. He's just a total pro, you know? It's, and he's a pleasure to direct. I effectively wrote the character for Guy. The choices that I was asking him to make and he realised he needed to make were actually kind of bigger than either of us had initially anticipated. We start shooting the first day, it's no dialogue, it's just one steady cam shot of him walking. I got tingles up my spine, you know, because the bold choices were there in that walk. Guy is a master at filling stillness with detail, you know, and giving you little windows into the soul that you need. Answer my question, I'm not gonna say it again. He's like so open and so giving and so generous. It took me a few reads and a lot of conversations with David to really understand what it was he was after. This film is emotional and it's sort of subversive and powerful.